Did you know that freight transportation is a multi-billion industry in the United States? It's no wonder many companies are looking for ways to get their goods from point A to point B as efficiently and quickly as possible. But with all the different transport options available, how do you know which is best for your business? This post will give an overview of the freight transportation landscape in the US and help you with deciding which option is the best for you. So continue on. What is freight transportation? At its most basic, freight transportation is shipping goods from one place to another. This can be done via land, sea, or air, and there are a variety of different carriers that specialize in each method. In the United States, the most common freight transportation methods are trucking and rail. Trucking is the most popular method of freight transportation in the country accounting for about 70% of all goods shipped. This is because it is generally the fastest and most flexible option to pick up and deliver goods door-to-door -door with minimal transshipment. On the other hand, rail transport is less door-to-door -door but offers lower rates and higher capacity than trucking. It is typically used for longer distances and for freight that is not time-sensitive. There are also several other methods of freight transportation that are less common but still have their place in the market. These include air freight, which is the fastest option but also the most expensive. Maritime freight, which is slower but can be very cost-effective for shipping large volumes of goods, and intermodal freight, which combines multiple modes of transport to take advantage of the strengths of each. If you want to learn more about transportation of your freight via truck, check out our previous post. What are the different types of freight carriers? There are various types of freight carriers, each with its own set of advantages and disadvantages. The most common freight carriers types are truckload carriers, Truckload carriers are responsible for transporting large shipments that fill an entire truck. This is the fastest and most direct way to ship freight, but it is also the most expensive. Less than truckload carriers. Less than truckload carriers are responsible for transporting smaller shipments that only take up part of a truck. This is cheaper than shipping via a truckload carrier, but it is also slower. Railroads. Railroads are an excellent option for shipping freight that is not time sensitive. They are typically less expensive than trucking but also less flexible. Air freight. Air freight is the fastest option but also the most expensive. It is generally used for high value or time sensitive shipments. Maritime freight. Maritime freight is slower but can be very cost effective for shipping large volumes of goods. It is typically used for international shipments or freight that is not time sensitive. Intermodal. Intermodal freight combines multiple modes of transport to take advantage of the strengths of each. For example, a shipment might be sent by truck to a rail terminal, which would then be loaded onto a train for transport to its destination. This is often used for long-distance shipments that need to be moved quickly but are not time-sensitive. How do you determine which freight carrier is best for your business needs? The best freight carrier for your business will depend on several factors, including the type of goods you are shipping, some freight carriers specialize in certain types of goods, so you will want to choose a carrier with experience shipping the type of goods you need. Your shipping routes. Some freight carriers only operate in certain areas, so you will want to choose a carrier that has service to the areas where you need to ship. Your shipping volume. Some freight carriers have minimum shipping requirements, so you will want to choose a carrier that can handle the volume of shipments you need to send. Your shipping timeline. Some freight carriers are faster than others, so you will want to choose a carrier that can meet your shipping deadlines. Your budget. Freight transportation can be expensive, so you will want to choose a carrier that fits within your budget. Here are some tips for working with freight carriers. Get quotes from multiple carriers. Freight rates can vary significantly from carrier to carrier, so it pays to get quotes from multiple carriers before making a decision. Negotiate rates. Don't be afraid to negotiate rates with freight carriers. The carrier may be willing to give you a discount if you commit to shipping a certain volume of freight. Compare transit times. Transit times can vary from carrier to carrier. So you will want to compare transit times to ensure you are getting the best possible service. Ask about discounts. Some freight carriers offer discounts for certain shipments. So it pays to ask about discounts before shipping. Read the fine print. Be sure to read the terms and conditions of your contract with a freight carrier. This will help you avoid any unexpected surprises down the road. Working with freight carriers can be a complex and expensive process. But choosing the right carrier for your needs is essential. The tips above will help you make the best decision for your business. If you want to learn more about freight, check out our previous post. How does freight shipping work? Freight shipping involves transporting goods by truck, train, airplane, or ship. Freight carriers are businesses that specialize in freight shipping and can help you move your goods to their destination. Freight rates can vary significantly from carrier to carrier.
so it is vital to get quotes from multiple carriers before making a decision. Freight carriers typically have minimum shipping requirements, so you will want to choose a carrier that can handle the volume of shipments you need to send. Transit times can also vary from carrier to carrier, so you will want to compare transit times to ensure you get the best possible service. Be sure to read the terms and conditions of your contract with a freight carrier before shipping to avoid any surprises down the road. Here are some common freight shipping terms. Bill of lading. A document that lists the items being shipped, the origin and destination of the shipment, and the freight carrier. Freight class. A classification system that determines the freight rate for a shipment. Density. The weight per unit of volume of a shipment. Pallet. A platform used to load and ship goods. Intermodal. Shipping using multiple modes of transport, such as truck and train. Transit time. The amount of time it takes for a shipment to reach its destination. How can you ensure that your freight arrives at its destination safely and on time? There are a few things you can do to ensure that your freight arrives at its destination safely and on time every time. Choose a reputable freight carrier. Not all freight carriers are created equal. Some have better safety records and on-time delivery rates than others. Do your research to find a carrier that has a good reputation. Communicate with your freight carrier. Keep your freight carrier updated on any changes to your shipment, such as changes in destination or weight. This will help them plan for the shipment and avoid any delays. Track your shipment. Most freight carriers offer tracking services so you can always see where your shipment is. This will give you peace of mind and help you plan for the arrival of your freight. Speaking of tracking your shipment, out of the numerous ELD and GPS providers, one stands out from the rest. This is an ELD provider that we wholeheartedly recommend. Continue to learn more. Affiliate Disclaimer Freight Chain is supported by our readers. When you purchase through links on our site, we may earn an affiliate commission that helps keep our website and its content. Thank you. Learn more. Keep Truckin has everything you need to ensure that your delivery goes off without any hitches. With their easy-to-use app, drivers can track hours and get an inspection report on the go which means no more wasted time or stressed out customers. Check out Keep Truckin' today. Following these tips will help ensure that your freight arrives safely and on time. If you want to learn more about ELD and GPS providers, check out our previous post. What to do if something goes wrong during a shipment. If something goes wrong during a shipment, the first thing you should do is contact your freight carrier. They will be able to help you troubleshoot the problem and get your shipment back on track. If you are not satisfied with the carrier's response, you can file a complaint with the FMCSA. Final thoughts. So now that you know some more about freight transportation, what do you think? Is this something your business should consider? Keep in mind that there are many factors to consider when making this decision. So don't rush into anything. But at the very least, we hope you better understand what's out there and how it can benefit your company. Thank you. Disclaimer. Freight Chain provides educational content only. It should not be taken as professional advice. You should always consult a freight shipping expert before making any decisions.